I only wanted half, mate. Did you? Oh, of course you did. Sorry. Sorry, my heads all over the place. I haven't stopped for about 30 weeks. No rest for the wicked and all that. No rest for the overworked and underpaid and all that. <laughs> Have you heard from Vic? She must be pretty rough, eh? Do you know what? I hope she is rough. Really rough. Rougher than a night out in Benidorm. Well, Ron, you can't say that. I can't say that, cos I'm spending more time here than I do at home. Pretty soon, Jessie's gonna think I'm having an affair. No one will think that, Marlon. Ever. <laughs> so, you and Pete? Everything's still rosy in that garden? Yeah, garden's fine. Thank you, Kerry. Working here all day, every day. I can't remember the last time my garden was... watered. Oh, speak of the handsome devil. He's almost 20 minutes late. Yeah, sorry, we got bogged down with a load of barbed wire. We? Oh, wow. Did you put a track around me? What? Do you guys know each other? The woman that was all over me at the club. That's her. Mate, seriously, I had no clue she was your missus. Listen, I'm not saying there wasn't a woman all over you, I'm just saying it wasn't her. Well, this isn't awkward. I mean, you were probably drunk, right? It's a bit, though, isn't it? See you later. Yeah, probably got it wrong. OK, so this is about the tenth message I've left you, Billy, and I'm just going to ask you the same question. Where are you? All right, I was meant to be at the police station in the next half hour. If you didn't want to take me, why don't you just say? <laughs> all right, just... Just call me back, all right? If you can be bothered. Bad time. For what? I was just passing, thought I'd check on you, see how you're doing. Is there any update yet? Anyone been arrested? Actually, mate, could you do me a massive favour? It depends what this massive favour is, doesn't it? I need to lift to the police station. We've got some CCTV and Billy's decided to go AWOL. Yeah, come on. Your phone not working? You follow me or something? No, Aaron was taking me to the police station. He must have forgot. Oh, sorry. I meant, I meant to tell you. Tell me what? Where are you going, Billy? It's no big deal. I just need to get away for a few days until everything settles down. Why? You know why? I bring trouble. Everything going on, all the stress at home. It's best if I'm not around. This isn't on you. I screwed up the deal, me. That's why everything got messed up. No. It's not your fault, any of it. You've got nothing to worry about. Seriously, I mean, if the CCTV showed anything, then Max would already be banged up, wouldn't he? That's not going to stop him digging, though, is it? It's still a clown running around with a knife. Yeah, but if the CCTV shows who did it, great. If it doesn't, then I'll listen to you. Right, I'll move on. OK, we can all move on. Oh, come on, this is stupid! You need to get to the police station before it's too late. Look, I shouldn't have got involved, I get it, all right? But nothing's going to get sorted if you walk. I'm sorry. What are you running away from, Billy? You don't have to run from anything. Look, I know you were just looking out for me, Billy. No, I was looking out for myself. Like always, looking out for myself. What do you mean? That night, it wasn't meant to go the way it did. What have you done? I just wasn't thinking straight. If I could go back and change what happened... What are you trying to tell me, Billy? Everything. It all went crazy. That's why you didn't want to take me to the police station. Why, are you trying to shut me down? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. No, 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 just start talking. All right, I want to know everything that happened that night. 